In this video, you're gonna learn epic masking effects like how to disappear behind a pole, how to clone yourself and have multiples of yourself on screen, and even some more advanced effects just like this. All that and more coming up thanks to the sponsor of this video, which is our free content creator academy. If you wanna learn how to master CapCut, you wanna learn how to grow on YouTube and make money from it, check out our free course. The link is in the description and on my YouTube channel's bio. And let's get started with our first effect, which is the pole masking effect. It's also a great way to explain what masking is if you haven't seen it before. So here I have this clip and there's two things going on. Number one, I have a tripod in use that I have my phone on. If you need a tripod, I have tripod recommendations in the description of this video. And number two, I also locked the settings on my phone. So I held my finger down on the screen, which locks the focus and the exposure. And that's really important when masking so the brightness doesn't change and you don't get some weird wonky effects. So that's that's it. And then all I did was I spent, let it sit for a few seconds, just recording nothing. And then I re recorded a few seconds of me walking behind the pole and then peeking out on the other side. And that's literally it. It's just a quick 20 second clip here of that. Now to do this effect, what we need to do is I'm just going to click on the video here. I'm going to click split and I'm actually going to duplicate the first six seconds here of nothing going on. So I'm actually gonna scroll over on the bottom here to the duplicate button, which is right here. Click on that. And then I'm gonna make it an overlay by clicking the overlay button. And then, yes, we want it directly lined up with the part where I walk behind the pole. Now we want to select the clip, that's the overlay. And we want to scroll over to the masking button. Here we go, we're gonna click on mask and we're gonna click horizontal. And basically what a mask is, is you're kind of cropping a video inside a video. It'd probably be the simplest way to explain it. And I'll help it make sense here in a second. So we applied this horizontal crop and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this and line it up with the pole here. So I'm gonna spin it just using my fingers here, line it up with the pole, perfect. And I'm gonna click check. And just to help this make sense, I am gonna to go to adjustments here and adjust the brightness. So our overlay is just here. We basically, a mask cut the clip down this side. So this is one clip here, and this is another clip. There are two different clips displayed on screen at the same time. And because our far left clip is just a blank clip, there's nothing going on here. And then this is where I'm walking on. So now what'll happen is when we click play, we walk and it looks like we're disappearing, but really it's just, we have a blank clip here of nothing going on. It gives the illusion that I'm walking into the pole and then peeking around the other side. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with masking and this is just one of them. And let's actually get into another masking effect that you can do. Another great use of masking is being able to blur something. So for example, maybe you have a car license plate you want blurred out in a video. Even though this is technically a photo, let's just pretend it's a video. I'm not taking a video of someone's license plate. What we can do to do this blur with masking is we're going to duplicate the layer again. So let's scroll over on the bottom here, click duplicate, and then we are going to make that an overlay as well. There's the overlay button, boom. And then we're gonna line them up perfectly with each other here. Perfect, we have two identical clips perfectly aligned. Now, what we can do is we are gonna go to video effects. We're gonna click on effects here, video effects, and then we're just gonna search blur and apply a blur to our photo here. So we'll click on that, click edit, Awesome. And then we wanna go down to object and we wanna choose our second photo here. So it applies it to the overlay and not the video underneath. So now the blur is just applied to the overlay. Awesome. That looks like it would blur out a license plate. And then what we wanna do is head over to our overlay. So I'm gonna click back, going to go back over to the overlay. There it is. And then we're gonna scroll over to the mask button. Going to click on mask, going to click on rectangle. And basically what we're going to be doing is this video is going to be masked into a rectangle and it has a blur applied. And behind it is the exact same photo with no blur effect applied. So now we get a blur effect 
anywhere we want to move this square. So we can resize it, reshape it. We can blur anything. So if you want to blur a license plate, a face, a store, you have that ability. Check. And now it's perfectly lined up where we have it completely blurred out. And for our next effect, let's move on to the clone effect. And again, we're going to be using masking magic here. So for the video clip here, it's literally just a video of me walking and sitting here for a bit. And then I pretend to wave at the camera and then I switch spots, sit there for a bit, wave at the camera, and then the video clip ends. That's all we've got here. So we're gonna click on the video. We're gonna scroll over on the bottom, all the way over to duplicate. Then we're gonna move it as an overlay. And then we're going to line the video clips perfectly with each other. There we go. We have two identical clips, both lined up. Then we're gonna click on the overlay. We are going to scroll over to the mask button. There we go, mask. We're gonna do horizontal. And then we are going to put this not directly down the middle, but we'll put it right here. And also as a note, I also have this on a tripod again. And then I have also locked the brightness settings. So the brightening doesn't change because as you're masking, you are combining two different clips together. So they both need to have identical brightness. So it's really important that you lock your settings so the brightness doesn't change. Otherwise the effect is not sold. So click the check mark there and it's looking pretty good, but we now need to align this properly. So we have me sitting there. So let's trim out the part of me sitting there on the overlay and let's get to the part. There we go, right where I'm sitting down. That's what we want. And then we wanna take this and move it over here, right where I'm sitting down. And look at that, we have two Collins because this is masked. So it's showing that one. And then this one is showing the other clip. So there we go, two Collins on screen, both waving and it looks just like we're both sitting in the room doing stuff together. Now let's move to a bit more advanced effect. And what we wanna do is a cool door opening effect into basically like another realm, almost like a Narnia type effect. So for this, we just have here in the timeline, this video on a tripod and purposefully made straight here with the door. And I open the door into obviously just nothing there, but we have the door opening and we're gonna do a cool effect here. Now, what we want to do is something called a green screen mask. And probably the easiest way to do this, just hop over the Chrome, find like a green color here, zoom in, take a screenshot, and then go to your photos and crop it in. So you just have a completely green screen. And then what we can do is go to overlay, add overlay. There we go. We got the green screen added. And we are going to just increase the size like so, make it extend for the clip. Awesome. And what we probably want it to do is appear right when we open the door for the most part. So looks like roughly here is when our mask is gonna begin. So we're just gonna start it there. And then we're gonna go over to mask. Here we go, mask. And we're gonna choose the mirror because that should allow us to do this. And we can shrink the size of this extremely far. And we're gonna try and get it perfectly lined up with the door here. So we'll click check for now. Let's zoom in with our fingers here. And right when that first crack of a door happens, slowly. Yeah, I think right there. Look at that. That's almost perfectly lined up there, I think. Let me take a closer look here. That looks perfect. Now, here is where the magic starts happening. We select the green screen clip, and then we're gonna click keyframe. And we are actually going to keyframe the mask as the door opens. So I'll go ahead a few frames. There we go. And then we're gonna go back into masking down here, click on that. And we are going to increase the size of this a little bit. And we're gonna make sure it continues to take up that crevice. Awesome. As you can see, it placed the keyframe. And we'll scroll ahead a little bit more and increase the size. You have to be careful not to do that effect where it kind of fades it out. And then you can always scroll backwards too to kind of monitor the expanding of it. There we go, increase that more. There we go, and we're literally just gonna continue to repeat this process. I won't let you sit through the whole thing, but I'm just gonna go frame by frame, just a little few frames ahead, adjust the green screen, and make it all the way through till the end here. Now, once you've taken the time and you've put that together, you should have something pretty close to this. And I think that is 
pretty good. I would probably make a few more adjustments personally because it does wobble a tiny bit there, but I think that's pretty good, at least enough for this example of what I'm going to be showing you how to do. So this is great. We are going to save this video now and allow it to export out. Awesome. And then what we're going to do is create a new project. And this time I'm going to select the image I want as my background first. Add that in. So we have this nice waterfall. Then we're going to click overlay, add overlay, and we're going to add that video that we just created. And now we are going to, uh, first of all, we're just going to split it here because this is all we're going to be doing. And now all we need to do is click on this video, scroll over to the remove BG, choose chroma key, choose that green color, turn the intensity up, and we have just removed that we might have to make some adjustments here but let's just see we don't want that green artifact there so let's go back in the chroma key let's turn it up a bit more and now i just turned my office door into a paradise entry just like that and if i want to actually i could pinch to increase the size i can move this waterfall a bit over so the door opens into paradise and just like that you've now masked out parts of your room and there's probably so many other use cases you could use this for and different effects you could do just by using the power of masking and probably just some creativity and these are just a few things you can do in CapCut you want to make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you can learn more about CapCut and all the different tips because that's what we cover here and then also check out Content Creator Academy where you can go more in depth into making sure you master CapCut for YouTube as well as learn how to grow on YouTube monetize it, etc. So definitely check that out as well.